Order. I greet you in the name of the Lord. My name is Minister Jesse Maringa here in DFW, Texas, north of Dallas, Texas. And I'm humbled to be invited tonight by my mom, Bishop Grace Karuki, to be able to join you tonight, be part of the Church Ministers Children and Ministers Network. I'm so humbled to be here tonight to share my testimony. My testimony is unique but not special. Unique because we all have... Um, our humble upbringings where we began our lives as children and we grew up, those of us grew up with a minister uh, or a minister's child or in a ministry. I did not grow in a typical ministry setting. So I'm going to share with you my story today and hopefully I will encourage somebody, hopefully somebody who's going to be blessed. As a young child growing up, I knew I was different. I knew something about me was different. I didn't feel comfortable playing the boys' games. I didn't feel comfortable playing with the girls like the other boys. I didn't feel comfortable doing the crazy stuff that my friends were doing. I found myself always somehow afraid of messing up. I found myself always trying to do things that were right. First of all, because my dad was very, very strict. He was a strict man. He would whoop us for whatever small thing we did. So I didn't grow up in beginning in the fear of the Lord. I grew up in the fear of dad. I feared my dad. So before I knew the Lord, I knew my dad. And I knew my dad did not play. And so I grew up fearing my dad. But I stayed away from a lot of troubles and things and pitfalls. Thinking it's because of fearing my dad. But as I grew up, I discovered that God had his hand on me. God had a plan for me that I didn't even know. That was beyond me. And I didn't know why I felt different about me. I don't know why I felt like I loved going to church as a young boy. I loved the things of God as a young boy. Yet God had his hand on me. Until when I grew up a little older, I found a scripture that answered the question, why did I, why did I learn, why did I love God as a young boy? And it's found in Jeremiah chapter 1. This is the scripture that is the foundation of my ministry. The foundation of my young Christian love for God. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4 says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before thou comest out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee as a prophet unto the nations. Then said I unto the Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of thy faces, of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Then the Lord put his hand, put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. Father, tonight I pray in the name of Jesus that you may bless somebody as I share your word and my testimony of how you blessed me as a young child. I pray that somebody who's going to be listening to me will be encouraged, will be blessed, and will be given a hope to continue serving God no matter the circumstances. I thank you and I bless you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. I, I was born in Nairobi, Kenya in a very unique situation, a very unique family. My parents lived in separate homes. My dad lived in Nairobi, my mom lived in the village. Um, my dad was not a church goer. He was not a believer. He was just a nominal guy who just did his own thing. My dad would drink and smoke and do it all. He was not really a smoker, but he drank a lot. He was a secular man. I never had my dad do things of God at any point. It is hard for me to share this because this is the unknown part of my ministry. I have never shared about my dad because there's not much of godliness to talk about. But my mom, on the other hand, she was a woman of God. She feared God. She loved God. She was a simple village woman who loved to go to church. So what used to happen is during the school, I was in Nairobi, born and raised, and go to school in Nairobi, in Parklands, Nairobi. And so I would only get a chance to go and join my other uh, siblings when school is closed, we would all meet in the village. Most of my siblings were in the village. And when we got to the village, the unique difference between being with my dad and my mom was when I was with my mom, the first Sunday we were home, we, we would be dressed up and cleaned up and she would make us look nice and clean and take us to church. So my first experience of going to church was in the village, old, old Pente, uh, Pentecost or something, into, um, AIC, whatever, old church, just village church that my mom would go every Sunday. It was the highlight of the week. 
She would love to be in church. She would love to serve God. She was a mother's women's leader, women's guild leader. She would be leading stuff in church. She would speak, do things. And from those early days, I learned how to serve God for my mom. Even though I wasn't born again, I saw the examples of a Christian woman, a Christian mother from my mom. And so every holiday I longed for being in the village to play with the kids, see my cousins do the things that we all did as babies and sons and child children. But my, my heart would be to go to church on Sunday and see the other kids and play in the Sunday school and learn some church old um, Sunday school songs. That was my, my humble bringing up. But when I go back to the city, it would be a different story because my dad was not a Christian. I would have to fight on my own to maintain the little fire that I got from the village because he was not a Christian. I would have to find my way to church sometimes as a, as a young kid, maybe even in the early days of going to Sunday school. I always went alone. My dad never went with us. I was alone when I'm in Nairobi with my dad. And so as a young child, I had to find my way. When I was 17, I went to high school in a place called St. Teresa's, Nairobi, and that's where I found the Lord. We went to a camp when I was in Form 2. As a 17-year-old child, we went to a camp called Word of Life, Bombasa. And there I met a man called Richard Munala, my pastor and my uh, spiritual dad. And on the second or third night of camp, I had gone to have fun with the kids, but I, I, I went and in that place, Without even knowing what God had planned for me, I found the Lord at that camp in Mombasa. Oh, I didn't come to swim and meet the girls. I came to meet the Lord. I got born again, and I went back to Nairobi with a new, new salvation, and I was a young child. I didn't know what to do. When I went back to Nairobi, the guys at camp told us to join a good church. So I joined Parkland's Baptist Church in Nairobi. And that's where my beginning of my growing as a child, Christian child, began in Parkland's Baptist Church. And I met uh, Pastor Ambrose and others. And uh, those days I grew up. My first song that I tried to sing and everybody laughed at me was in Parkland's Baptist Church. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you. And then a year later, I met a group of ministers who are ministering around Nairobi, Elvis O'Chang and um, Steve Munga and all those guys. And, uh, and these guys told me, you need to know the Lord. Uh, all those, Anthony Wahome and them, they got me involved in ministry. And that's when I heard about the Holy Spirit. So in, when I was 18 years old, these guys, Noel and them and Elvis and them, they prayed for me and I got spirit filled at a camp in Dagoretti High School in Nairobi of Steve Munga Ministries and them, and that's why I became a Christian. When I got spirit-filled, my life changed, and now I felt there was some power in me leading and guiding me, guiding me to grow in the things of God. But my dad was not there. My mom was in the village. Unfortunately, after I got born again, around maybe um, 18 or so, my mom got very sick and she passed away. And so I had to find my way now. But my mom was my, my source of my strength. I, I would go to her for guidance and Christian issues. My dad didn't do none of that. So I was forced to now wade my way in the wilderness all alone as a young Christian because my mom had passed away from sickness. It was the saddest day of my life. We cried a lot. But after God gave me strength, I had God tell me, you have to carry on. Because I called you as a child. I had these scriptures now. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. Before thou comest from thy mother, your mother's womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee as a prophet unto the nations. When Jeremiah was speaking this word, God gave him these words. He was being called into a hostile environment in Israel. Where he was going to go and deliver Israel from the hands of the Babylonians. Because the Israelites have gone against God and sinned against God. And so this scripture was given to a man who was under attack. A man who was under a hostile environment environment that was me my dad's house in Nairobi was a hostile place he whooped me many times the times when I started going to meetings and looking for places to learn the place where we lived in Nairobi was a campus a university campus and they were singing and speaking and preaching every Friday so one day I got permission from my dad to join them from for uh, for the for the event and I was so glad I went from that day on. I went every Friday. My dad would let me go to those meetings, but not to the dancing and the boogie with the other boys. Because God had his hand on me. And my father started realizing this boy is different. And after he fought me for so long, eventually my father left me alone. And let me do my thing. And let me serve God. And I kept serving God. I kept growing up in ministry. I kept growing up. I joined a Robert Lighthouse Church later. And that's why I started serving in worship. And I began doing worship and praise. I joined worship teams and the Lord has been with, with me from those days. My Lord was with me. My mom was gone, but God was with me. He kept telling me, in spite of your mom being away from you, being in heaven, I still have a plan for you. I still have my hand on you. 
And God kept teaching me and holding me. And until I left, I finished Nairobi um, High School. I went to Nairobi University. And there I became a CU leader. I became one of, the, one of the main, main crusaders of that campus. Would preach in and out of campus. Would preach in high schools. Would preach in marketplaces. Would preach in the city. Would preach in Divaji Gardens. We were children, young men on fire for God. Why? Because I saw the, my, my, my mom from when she was young. I saw the love of God in her. I saw the examples of a woman who loves God in her. And through that example, God kept me and I kept growing from one glory to another and my life has never been the same again. So I thank God for a mother who loved God. I like thank God for my dad who was very strict. Even though he wasn't a Christian strong man, he was a strict man. He never let me go out and dance and get crazy. He only let me go to church. He only let me go to church. In fact, my first Sunday school was in Nairobi, Nairobi Chapel when I was very, very young on campus. We lived nearby in the campus. And that's why I heard about the stories of Bible stories of, of Moses and Israelites and all the young Bible stories that founded and formed me as a man of God. So I thank God for my dad for being strict and letting me go only to church. Unfortunately, in 2009, I have had just come to the U.S. I was here for a few years. My dad was killed. My dad was murdered by thugs in Nairobi. And that was the most painful day of my life all over again. And I cried and mourned my dad. I went home and buried my dad and I came back. A broken man but I knew I had a mission I knew I had to serve God I knew I had to continue serving God and so I have been serving God here in Texas and in Oklahoma before I moved here without parents guiding me I would love and wish I had my parents to see what I had become I wish I had my mom and dad to let them see that I become a worshiper a man of God a man who loves God a person who loves God and chases after God a person who seeks after God I wish my mom could see that even though her simple humble examples in that old traditional church in the villages of Mount Kenya were not a big deal to her but it was a big deal to me because from those days I learned the ways of God. From my mom I learned the ways of God. I learned how to serve God and to fear God. And so I want to encourage somebody tonight as I close, because I only have a few minutes, to continue serving God. You children of ministers, your mom and dad may not be like mine. Maybe they are sold out bishops and pastors and apostles. May God bless you, but I pray please lean on God. Just like Jeremiah was not leaning on his mama, mother and daddy, he was leaning upon God. Because it is God who said, aha, I have called you since you were in your mama's belly. He said, oh, then Jeremiah said, then said I to the Lord, Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. I said unto God, I am just a child. I cannot speak, but God put his hand on me. God touched me. God touched my lips. God touched my heart. He kept me from running after girls and taught me to learn, run after him and learn his ways and run after him. So as a teenager, I chased after God. As a young man, I chased after God. And as a grown man, as a father, I seek and ch ch chase after God. And God has been with me. He's been faithful to me. And I give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Thank you for this opportunity mama i appreciate it sorry i get emotional talking about my parents because they are all both in heaven i get sad but i thank god for them so god bless you i uh, thank god for you you can find me on facebook i am royal prince or find me on um, youtube i am jesse moringa official so god bless you all and have a great time father i thank you for your people bless them as they watch and listen to this testimony may they, may they be strengthened and encouraged in jesus name i thank you and i worship your name for you are good and you are awesome oh god i pray this believing and trusting in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen and amen god bless you thank you